Hi everyone. For this lesson, I'll show you how to rewrite an equation and put it in slope-intercept form. All right, let's start off with this equation here. Let's say we have 2x plus 4y minus 8 equals 2. Okay, so that's the equation that we start off with, right? And I want to put this equation in the y equals mx plus b form, all right? The slope-intercept form. Right, that way you can easily pick off the slope and the y-intercept. Right, so the first thing I want to do is bring this 2x right here, this 2x to the right-hand side. Okay, so let's subtract 2x to both sides. All right, so this will give us the 4y will come down, the minus 8 will come down. Make sure you line up your equal sign, right? That always makes a difference. And then you, your negative 2x, I'm just going to put that in the front and the plus 2, right? It's implied that there's a plus 2 here, right? And we know that this 2x and negative 2x, they went away. So now, the only thing we have to do is get rid of this negative 8, right? So let's add 8 to both sides. So I'm just going to put it over here, right? So we're getting closer to the end. Right, so now this becomes 4y, right, and this equals, and negative 2x. And I'm going to combine this 2 and 8. I'm just going to write that as 10, right? 2 plus 8 is 10, right? And we all know what happens to this negative 8 and positive 8, right? Now we're down to just one step left, right? So we just have to divide this by 4. We have to divide everything on the right-hand side by 4, so... Don't forget that. So let's do this. Negative 2x, divide that by 4. And we also have to take the 10 and divide that by 4. Alright, so now we're left with just the y on the left hand side, right? And that's what we want. This 4 and this 4, they go to 1. So we're all set with that. And then this here, we have negative 2 over 4, so that's just negative 1 half. Don't forget the x. And then this is just plus we can reduce this to 5 over 2. Okay? And now, as you can see, right, this here is our equation, y equals mx plus b, right? We start off with 2x plus 4y minus 8 equals 2. So we did all that work, and now we have this equation here. And the reason we want to do this is because, let's say I want to find the slope. Well, the slope is just the number in front of the, or the coefficient, right? That's the number in front of the x. So in this case, it's just the negative one half, right? The negative one half is a slope. So we can say, all right, the slope is negative one half, okay? And we can say, all right, what's the y-intercept then? Well, in this case, the y-intercept is just the five over two, which is the five half, right? That's the y-intercept here, five over two. Right, so we're done with this problem and we're pretty happy. Right, let's take a look at another one. Let's say we have five or negative five x plus ten y equals twenty five, say. Right? And I wanna again put this in the slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Right? So the goal is to get y by itself. Right? Here's our y. We want it to get uh, y alone. So we want to get y alone. Right? So the first step here is, just like before, I'm going to bring this negative 5x to this side here, the right-hand side. So since it's a minus 5x, so I'm going to add 5x. Right? You always want to do the opposite. Right? So I'm just going to put the plus 5x over here. Okay? All right, so now line up the equal sign. That's important. Uh, and then the 10y will just come down, right? And we know that this negative 5x and plus 5x will go to uh, 0. And then we have um, the 25 plus the 5x. But I like to put the 5x in the front, which is fine. Right, 5x plus the 25. Mathematically, that's OK, right? And there's only one step left to do, right? So we just have to divide both sides by 10, right? Since 10, 10 is being multiplied with the y, right? So let's divide this by 10. 
and I will divide everything on the right hand side by 10. Okay, so now, right, what do we have? Let's see. 10 over 10, that's just 1, so we're left with the y. Here comes the equal sign. So this boom, boom, just the one y. We won't have to write the one there, right? And 5x over 10, guess what? That's just 1 half, right? Because 5 goes into 10 two times. So 1 half of x, right? You can rewrite it like that, okay? And then plus uh, 25 over 10, since 5 goes into 25 five times, We'll leave that as 5, and then 5 goes into uh, 10 twice. We have that. All right, so here we go. We have y equals 1 half x plus 5 over 2. All right, so we started off with this original equation, right? And we did the work, and we ended up with this guy here. All right, the slope is 1 half, right? Pick this color here. This is the slope. This is the m. Okay, that's the M. And the B is the 5 half. All right, you take the sign also. So let me just box in the sign as well. All right, so this is your B. All right, remember the B is the Y intercept. It's where, if you were to graph this line, it's where the line crosses the Y axis. All right, hence it's, it's called the Y intercept. All right, and we're done here. And we're happy.